Mystery in the library? Tonio, I'm disappointed by your lack of faith in me. As you know, I've always been an intellectual. Yeah, right. I've always been captain of the varsity basketball team. Hmm. Come on, what's your angle? Oh, all right. She's right over there. Amanda Robinson? I thought she only dated Brainiacs. Exactly why we're a match made in heaven. <laughs> what? Hey, Amanda! What a coincidence seeing you here. I, I was just doing a, you know, a little light reading. <gasps> Martin, those are dictionaries. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> you know me, I love big words. Um, uh, perhaps you would accompany me to observe a cinematic extravaganza this Friday night? Sorry, I have to study. Well, that works too. <laughs> I love to study. You do? <gasps> Thanks, but I don't think our study habits are compatible. <sighs> Let me translate for those who are too slow to take a hint. She doesn't date dumb guys. Or pathetic ones, either. Yeah, yeah, just get Java. They're playing our song. Warm mystery. Cleared. Diana Longboard. Cleared. Java the Caveman. Cleared. Whoa! What is that? The Scrolls of Agathar. Very rare and totally irreplaceable. Mom is attempting to retrieve the scrolls using our new state-of-the-art xenon carbon laser. Very cool! <laughs> huh? Oh! Very bad! It works! <laughs> I mean, oops. Martin Mystery! It took three teams 20 years to find those scrolls, and it took you only 20 seconds to destroy them. Sorry? The three of you will be leaving right away for Paris. Paris? Oh, I can't believe it! I've always dreamed of going to Paris! Does Martin have to come? I'm afraid this won't be a vacation. Our source in Paris has made us aware of a suspicious disappearance that occurred last night. That is what you'll be investigating. Hmm, suspicious disappearance? That happens to be my major. Well then, by all means. Hey! Diana, wait! <sighs> Been sealed up tight since those kids went missing. You can look around all you want, but you're on your own. No way I'm stepping foot inside this place again. Huh. Well, what are we waiting for? This is my kind of place. Creepy. This place is a wreck. I'll fan out and look for clues. I bet we're dealing with something nocturnal and strong, too. It could be a werewolf, or maybe even a half-humanoid, half-beast hybrid. Or it could have been kids playing some kind of practical joke. Oh, yeah? Then explain this. Claw marks. And remember, two people are missing. Mmm, Java like food on stick. Java, no! Don't eat the clues! Mm, that's quite a bite. Let's scan it. Hard watch activated. Slime scan selected. Analysis complete. What do you know? 
It picked up traces of saliva. And not your everyday kind, either. It says it's 500 years old. 500? That thing has got to be broken. <gasps> What's that? Ah! Java Grapple! <laughs> <laughs> Java no like swimming. You'll be okay, Java. <sighs> Something majorly tweaked that guy out. <laughs> what are you doing with that travel brochure? Brushing up on my French history. The Eiffel Tower, which was built in 1889, is open from 9 to 11. Oh, Amanda will be so impressed with my knowledge of French lit. Huh? Hey, guys, it's Billy. I got the lowdown on that jacket logo for you. Cool. What's the word? It's from a skateboard shop on Avenue Montagna. By my calculations, that's only three blocks from where you are now. Uh, thanks, Billy. We'll check it out. Uh, by the way, we're still working on that saliva sample you sent us. Should have something for you soon. Oh, cool store. Check this stuff out. <sighs> hey. <gasps> look, it's the guy from the ride. Hey, you're right. Only he doesn't look so pale and clammy. Hmm. Uh, sorry, dudes, we're closing. <gasps> if you want to buy a board, you have to come back tomorrow. Uh, actually, uh, Carl, I was wondering if you could identify the other man in this picture. My partner, Mike? Dude never showed up for work today. He better not have bailed to Australia to catch some tasty waves without me. Uh, who's the lady in the picture? That's my new girlfriend, Simone. So don't go getting any ideas. Like <gasps> I said, we're closing, so get lost. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Do you think he knows what happened to Mike? Doesn't seem like he does. Hey, there's his girlfriend. <gasps> oh, did you see that? She has no reflection! <sighs> oh no, he doesn't see her! <gasps> Simone, what happened to you? I'm afraid the time to begin my search has come. Your friend was not suitable. What did you do to Mike? Another workless human to serve as a minion! I must find the one! He needs help. I'm going in. Martin, don't! <laughs> Java, we need to get him out of there. Back off and no one gets hurt. I know how to deal with your kind, vampire. Ah, very clever and fearless too. Just like my Gerard. And just as handsome. <laughs> you are, lady, but I can tell you he's definitely not boyfriend material. will be reborn! No! Minion, we must return to the lair to prepare for their arrival! <laughs> <laughs> He's not going anywhere with you! <laughs> Martin! Oh, uh, hi, Martin. I was just about to call you. Uh... No, Billy, it's Diana. Martin's in trouble. He's been abducted. Oh, no. 
I'm transmitting an address to the U Watch. Meet me there. Hmm. You think maybe there's a secret entrance or something? Huh. Java make door. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. I was expecting Trey she she, not Trey creepy. Who lives here? The saliva sample you sent belongs to an alleged 15th century vampire named Simone de Bastogne. Simone was the name of the girl in the skate shop. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Is it just me, or does the guy in this painting have sort of a Martin vibe going on? That must be why she went all deja vu back at the skate shop. Oh, we better check out what the U-Watch has to say about Simone. U-Watch activated. Legend X selected. Simone and her consort, Gerard Montaigne, were monarchs of a vampire clan in Paris. Instead of biting their victims, they steal their souls, turning them into evil minions. Let's see, cross-reference Martin mystery. <gasps> Martin is a distant relative of Gerard, and they share a common rare gene. Simone said something about her clan being reborn. If Martin shares this rare gene, he could be the key to reviving the clan. <gasps> I'm actually going into a sewer to rescue my brother. <sighs> Something is very wrong with this picture. for himself. Let's get out of here. Yeah! Oh, no, Billy, over here. <gasps> Let's follow them. It might lead us to Martin. It'll also lead us to the vampires. My thoughts exactly. Let's go. years I slept, bound by a curse that was so kindly, though accidentally broken, when my crypt was disturbed. Merci, Monsieur Deville. will make a fine addition to our little family. <laughs> <laughs> the fates have been kind to us, my creatures, for they have delivered to us the keys that will assure our immortal power. And you're looking at them. There he is, and he's starting to look like him. By tomorrow's full moon, the binding ceremony will be complete, and the passage to the banished realm will be opened, and our brethren will return! That should buy some time to plan a rescue. You! <laughs> Bring me the finest fries in all of France! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I just hope he wants to be rescued. It looks like they're all asleep. Let's do it. <gasps> oh, I wish I would have stayed back at the office with Mom. <laughs> 
the meaning of this? Shh! We're rescuing you! Rescue? <laughs> you amuse me, my mortal sister! He won't be going anywhere, and neither will you! <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, now remember whose side you're on, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It feels a little weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Lock them away. After the ceremony, they will serve us for an eternity. <laughs> As a prophecy foretold, my return shall bring the dawn of a new underworld. <laughs> I'll get a Torrington if my stepbrother comes home a vampire. You two better get back. You know how it works. How hard can it be? Turbo bungee selected. Uh. Uh -oh. uh, maybe we should try that again. Stop 
Uh, what happened? You don't remember? Uh, no, but it must have been one heck of a party. I got the king of all headaches. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hey there. Uh, since I got back from Paris... Paris? You are smart. Can you help me with my calculus? Well, all you need to remember is if the uh, cosine of uh, the hyperbole is uh, equal to the square That's root... That's complete gibberish. <gasps> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I used some math words. Wait, I'm really smart when it comes to alien abductions and lycanthropy and vampires. Amanda, 